and y'all already know what time it is from the desk of Adrian Wojnarowski. The Los Angeles Lakers have signed Avery Bradley to a two-year, $9.7 million deal. Well, they haven't signed him yet, but he's going to sign as soon as he clears waivers. That should be sometime today. The Memphis Grizzlies released him, and it's uh, 48 hours after you get released, you, you can you clear waivers, and then anybody can claim you, and you can sign with anybody, so he's a free agent. And that's where he is right now. This, I feel like, is a really good signing for the Lakers just because you add some depth to the guard position, you add a lot of defense to the perimeter, and uh, Avery Bradley, even though he wasn't the greatest when he was playing for the Clippers last year, he did average 16 points, shot 38% from three, and 42.6% from the field when he got to the Grizzlies. And so that tells me that he may have been asked to do a little too much when he was playing for the Clippers. So once he got to the Grizzlies, he was able to play behind Mike Conley Jr. and just do what he normally does, which is lock up the perimeter, defend the best guard on the other team, and, and hit open threes. I think he was just able to, to settle in and do something that he was a lot more comfortable with. Now that he's on the Lakers, that's all that he's really going to be asked to do. He's not going to have to dominate the basketball because you're going to have LeBron and Rondo and Cousins and Davis. They'll be able to handle all of that. Only thing he's going to have to do is come in, defend the other team's best guard, and then hit open shots. Same thing that they're going to ask Danny Green to do. Pretty much the same thing that they're asking Cook and Caldwell Pope to do. So with this sign, I feel like the Lakers have done a really good job with rounding out the roster. There are some rumblings that Melo may still be coming, Corbin may still be coming, and um, that maybe Andre Iguodala can find his way to the team if he gets cut. But at the same time, Iguodala's team has said they're not going to cut him, and so he's probably either going to have to play the season there, or who knows what's going to happen. NBA teams have a very funny way of holding players for leverage. Like when they know somebody wants that player, they'll sit there and hold him for leverage, and then they may go halfway into the season and then cut him, wave him, or, or try to trade him or something like that. Or maybe they just try to trade him outright. We don't know. But what we do know is, as soon as Avery Bradley clears waivers, the Brown Patrol is going to be back. Like we said, possibly Melo, possibly Kyle Korver stretching the floor, and possibly Andre Iguodala, who's a great 3 and D guy. And you really have yourself something then. I really feel like the Lakers have done a really good job of rounding this roster out, uh, coming from not having much money, putting all their chips in the basket to sign Kawhi, and then now... They've, they've distributed the money out pretty well. They're using the mid-level exceptions the way that they should be. And, uh, you know, they'll be able to get some vet minimums. And I think that they're, this is going to be a tough team to beat. And even though none of these players are a replacement for Kawhi, I really feel like these guys do a really good job of giving you what you really would have wanted from Kawhi. Now, I'm not saying the superstar aspect or anything like that. But what I am saying is just some scoring and some solid defense on the perimeter. When you add Kawhi to a mix of guys like this, it's not that he couldn't be a superstar, but as we saw in Miami, somebody's stats have to take a hit, and if that's going to be Chris Bosh, or if that would have been Kawhi, why not get somebody at a lesser price, or a couple of guys at a lesser price, who can give you just about something close to what he would have given you, and you've added up to the roster, and you don't have all your eggs in one basket. And if one person gets hurt, you're not going to just be out in the cold. Anyway, I already talked too long, man. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, was this a good signing for the Lakers? Uh, do you feel like the Lakers are the favorite to win the West this year? Who do you think is the favorite to win the West? And uh, who do you got in the finals this year? Let me know down below. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Hello! Big six down this morning.